Good evening, horror fans. Well, big surprise, I'm doing another video of a clown mask. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm pretty obsessed with evil clowns, and this one's pretty damn evil looking. This is Big Top from Bump in the Night. Can't remember if they're Bump in the Night Productions or Bump in the Night studios or fx or i just call them bump in the night this is a bump in the night mask guys anyways this is big top and he's big this is a big damn mask it's huge i knew it was going to be big when i ordered it but it's it's goddamn big you could practically take the slim mask from Trick or Treat Studios from Killer Clowns and put it inside of this mask. That's how freaking big it is. I'm not even sure how I'm going to display it outside of being on my mannequin here. I'm thinking of buying like a, a hat rack or something and like kind of hanging it from the wall like it's a trophy clown head or something. This mask is enormous and it only costs 60 bucks. You know, this this easily should be like a hundred dollar mask at least. And they're selling it on Amazon for like 60 bucks. I would give this like a five out of five, but the only reason I'm giving it like a four and a half is I think they got a little carried away with the pink wash on this thing. Other than that, the paint job's pretty damn spectacular for a cheap mask. There's a few little tiny flakes on the red there, but I do think they got a little carried away with the pink wash. But other than that, I really like it. Really, the, the eyes are nice, and there's some great detail on the tongue. Kind of you know, it's so massive in size, it's hard to, to like, get in and show you the detail. Like, you kind of have to be far away to see the whole thing, like, take it all in. It's got an attached collar. And it's pretty thick. I'm surprised at how thick it is. And it holds its shape fairly well. It was completely like wadded up in a tiny little ball and shoved in this uh, bag and crammed into my mailbox. So it actually unfurled fairly nicely. Look at this thing, man. It's got pretty decent hair work. It's that kind of like Trick or Treat Studio style hair, like a, like a Michael Myers mask or something. It's pretty easy to just kind of fluff it out with your fingers. It's kind of plastered down when you first get it. This is a pretty stunning mask. I'm thinking of uh, like just buying some white paint and uh, taking one of those like sponge brushes and just kind of trying to tone down some of this pink a little bit. But other than that, this is a pretty damn nice mask. 60 bucks. I'm still blown away by how huge this thing is. Like, you know, you could practically ram the pumpkin head mask inside of this thing. And it's like way cheaper than a big mask like this. I know he's not like a licensed guy. That's part of why Clownzilla and Pumpkin Head and some of those big masks are, you know, so expensive. But I don't know. Look at that mouth, man. Love the profile on this thing. Rawr. I want to eat your kids like cotton candy. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's saying here, but he it can't be good. You know, this guy's definitely a kid eater. I don't trust him. He's up to no good. But anyways, this guy is really cool. It's by Bump in the Night. Um, you can find it on Amazon and eBay pretty damn cheap like just put in Morris costumes uh, Clown mass or just Morris costumes mass and flip through it. There's another one called 
Big Boss, I think. That one's pretty cheap too. That one's even cheaper than this. That's a pretty great looking mask. I'd probably buy one of those, but honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this thing. My, you know, my shelves are full and this thing would take up like a whole shelf. I'm going to have to get creative to figure out how to display it or keep it on permanent display on my mannequin or something. But there's another really cool mask that these guys make. It's like a clown that has like four faces or something he's kind of like one of those guys on the the last couple of like the last season and from the transformers movie from the 80s he's got like four faces on me three or four faces i don't know and there's like some red hair sticking out and whatever that's a clown i'm really interested in getting that one but it's kind of expensive usually like 80 bucks or something but this is a great great mask Check out Bump in the Night Studios, and they make a lot of really cool masks. I have a Gates of Hell mask by them, and I have a Nosferatu mask. And they make a really cool mummy, and they have a... I don't think they make it anymore, but they make a really great looking uh, Lord Crumb, I think. Isn't that the name of the guy from uh, Bad Taste? Whatever that guy's name from the poster on Bad Taste. They make a mask of that guy, and they made House of a Thousand Corpses guys, and guys from the Polchi movie, Zombie, and I don't know, they're a really great company. It's kind of underrated. Their masks are almost as cool as Trick or Treat Studios, and a lot of them are really cheap, so if you love all things horror and great monster masks, and you don't want to, like, break the bank, get yourself some... Bump in the Night Studios Mass.